good we are here so today we will be talking about five things i wish i knew when i started my journey in calisthenics in boxing in grappling in everything that i have ever trained and those will be the things that i wish i knew so my journey would have been easier and i would have i don't know take the whole training process quite easily so let's get it so first things first the first thing that i wish i knew when i started training is that the only bad workout is the missed one like if you miss a workout that's the only time a workout is bad because it doesn't matter like uh, what type of workout would it be it, if it will be two hours you kill yourself in the gym you're part of yourself or if it will, will be 10 minutes like uh, 100 push-ups at once or two sets or 50 sometimes it's one sometimes it's the other one it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is the consistent work over time like sometimes you can slip on the diet sometimes you can slip on the training i always thought that it must be if i don't train as i did yesterday or even better the training was bad or i didn't do as great and i will fail but no that isn't the case the what matters is the consistent work over time look today i'm not training but we are on this walk in the nature and it's even better than a workout that i would have done so guys what matters is the consistent and the diversity diversity in training like one day you're walking in nature the next day you're in the gym the next day is calisthenics day the next day it's boxing grappling whatever it might be i learned that it doesn't matter what the technique if it's 10 minutes or two hours what matters is the consistency let's get to number two okay. so point number two will be diet so in the beginning i didn't pay much attention on the diet i just ate whatever i just thought that if i eat more probably i'll gain weight but i didn't pay attention to what what i was eating so let's take today for example i started i did my protein shake then i fasted for some hours because i want to stay lean and ripped that's if you want to get ripped like me if you want to gain mass i would have eaten around two more times after that now after the training the walking it's legs leg day i'll be heading with some meat and some vegetables eating clean depending on what you want if you want but uh, if you want to gain weight you eat more 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 protein clean protein with a little bit of carbs and you eat around six meals a day if you want to stay lean as i do right now i'm not in a bulk period i will eat one meal in the morning and then fast for around four to five hours and yeah so pay more attention to your diet as well as the workout they're equally important in the training journey i wish i knew more about that in the beginning but knowledge comes with time and repetition let's get to point number two and on this beautiful place as you can see guys it is time for point number three that i wish i knew when i started my six year journey of training is that injuries are in inevitable like you cannot go to your journey of training no matter what you're training and go without an injury i thought i would go without but i didn't so i have a shoulder injury on my bo on both of my shoulders i have a back injury from deadlifting but that is part of life that is part of training so you just have to try to be as careful as possible always warm up properly always stretch up properly and try to prevent it as much as possible but at the same time know that it is inevitable and at one point it, it will happen and yeah so i'm hope hoping that until now i'm helping with all these things <clears throat> that i have learned through my journey to at least 
some beginner that is starting right now so let's get to point number four and point number number four probably my favorite thing that i learned to my journey and it's really dear to my heart is that training is not only physical i don't for the people that don't want to train and i think that training is this barbaric thing that is uh, oh look at my muscles no training for me was 60 percent even more than physical was to callous my mind my mindset and to build a strong strong foundation for the hard times that are ahead of me in life and every time i had something not so good happen in my life a tough time something that i usually would have dealt for a longer period of time i just went to training went to the people i learned to train like david goggins like ufc fighters and so on and this helped me clear my mind and go through the tough time go to the hard period go to the once called depression period and fix it quite faster and easier while training so guys remember that for me for those that are not sure if they should start training the biggest part about training is your mind it's not your body the body is just a bonus see you on point number five let's go and final point number five conclusion is that i didn't know in the beginning i used to train just to be stronger not be easily bullied and i don't know just not call me skinny but now i realize that starting my training journey starting boxing starting fighting training starting calisthenics starting fitness would be the single most best thing in my life and the most proud thing i have in my life and that i would never want it to be different my journey was the perfect thing that could have happened. I love that I decided that day to start training and to build my mind and my body. And for whoever watches this video, I really hope that this inspires you to start your training journey because you will look four, five, six, seven years after that, you will look back and think of that video or whatever and say this was the best thing that I decided in my life so hope if you watch that video and you haven't started your calisthenics or whatever uh, training journey start it start it it will be the best thing in your life leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video see you in the next one thank you for watching for the end to the end I really appreciate your support and one last thing to say, if you want, I can make you a personal workout program if you're just a beginner with a personal diet plan and one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. If you want so, email me, the email will be down in the description and love you all, see you in the next video.